Effective teaching requires the ability to understand and respond to your students' needs. Research using large samples or complex methodologies can provide some insight about effective teaching methods. However, these types of studies often take years to complete and the findings do not necessarily apply to all classrooms. Smaller scale research efforts may allow teachers to see what works with their own students in days or weeks. The Network Improvement Community, or NIC, model is one method of testing instructional strategies and learning from other educators through improvement science. NICs provide the opportunity to quickly identify practices that work in a particular classroom. The Oklahoma State Department of Education facilitates data-driven job-embedded NICs for teachers through an initiative called Oklahoma Excel. Regional Education Laboratory, REL Southwest, partnered with the Oklahoma State Department of Education to support Oklahoma Excel by helping improve professional development, refine implementation, and focus on measuring and improving student outcomes. It has been such a joy getting to know other teachers in my district that I don't necessarily work with every day. I've also been able to take this back to my team at my particular middle school. And so it's very exciting. It's exactly what we want to do through professional development and certainly it's one of the goals of Excel for it to go wider into our school and our districts. And so what the NIC and what Excel has helped me to do and even my team that is local is hold me accountable. Go ahead and plan that task. Not just think, oh, that's a good idea, but actually implement in my classroom and then tweet and talk and discuss and collaborate and then implement it again. And I think it is because it applies so beautifully to teaching for my learners to learn. They're a big part of it. I share that with them and say, you're helping us collect research. You're helping us learn what works well for right now in this day and time. Each NIC consists of several teacher teams from around the state. To guide their colleagues through the process, each teacher team has an improvement fellow or a teacher leader. Improvement Fellows receive additional training from the Oklahoma State Department of Education about improvement science and instructional coaching. Every year that I've participated in the NIC, I've grown so much as an educator, but also as a leader in my school. And I've been able to support teachers in implementing some of these change strategies at different levels of teaching. And my students have benefited tenfold because my students leave fifth grade able to think, to problem solve. The NIC that I'm participating in with our school, it's, it's developed over time. And now we have two elementary teachers, a high school teacher, and we have a STEM teacher who are part of our group. This is my first year being a, an improvement fellow and I have loved it. Um, I've built some pretty strong relationships even within my own district and sharing those ideas across different schools, different types of schools. So building that cross district collaboration because ultimately we're all in it to help kids. So how can we share the knowledge and the strategies that do work across all types of schools for all kids? With guidance from their improvement fellows, each NIC chooses a student-centered goal. Teacher teams then test practices that might help reach the goal. To test instructional practices, NICs use Plan, Do, Study, Act, or PDSA cycles. PDSA cycles allow teacher teams to identify a specific practice or innovation, quickly try that practice in their classrooms, see how well it worked, and refine the practice to get it closer to the goal. This process can happen in a matter of weeks. Then teacher teams can iteratively test and adjust their chosen practice with the goal of effectively meeting students' needs. Through regular, collaborative sessions, the Oklahoma Excel structure allows teacher teams to share their results and learn from each other's experiences. Oklahoma Excel has, again, this just taken me to new levels in my understanding of my own teaching pedagogy and my strategies, and it makes me question more about what I'm doing in the classroom, and it makes me think deeper. We are working this year towards a goal of creating claims and supporting arguments, which is much deeper than what we started with last year. We're asking the students to make a claim and support it with evidence and support an argument and be able to talk back and forth and support their argument with the evidence that they have found. So it's a little bit deeper with the science language. It's deeper with their critical thinking and their problem solving. 
and hopefully the goal is that our science team from elementary all the way through high school is rock solid in problem solving and critical thinking and preparing those students for real life. Our NIC has several different goals, but for Oklahoma Virtual Charter Academy, we have identified the goal of 70% of our students should be stopping and thinking about what they're reading and understanding what they're reading. We want kids to recognize that they do these actions. We want them to, to kind of have a voice and to, to recognize that they're either employing the techniques that we're teaching them, or maybe they're struggling with it and we need to go back. We want to know, you know that whatever we're doing is good for kids and has a positive impact on their academic achievement. And one of the ways to do that is to partner with the Oklahoma Excel program and implement those strategies and then truly know, is it working? If it is working, how do we know that? And then what can we do to continue that? Can we build on it? I would say to teachers considering something like this at this level, this caliber, to just do it. I really would because you are committed, you're supported, you're encouraged, you have resources in your local teams, and so it is a win-win-win for students, for teachers, and for our state. Watch our video, Partners in Continuous Improvement, to learn more about the Southwest Network Improvement Communities Research Partnership and Regional Education Laboratory, REL Southwest's support for Oklahoma Excel, and visit the REL program website to access the Practical Measures Toolkit. This video was funded by the Institute of Education Sciences, IES, and developed by REL Southwest. REL Southwest works in partnership with educators and policymakers to develop and use research that improves academic outcomes for students. To learn more about REL programs, visit our website, subscribe to our Twitter feed, and sign up to receive our newsletters and other publications.